Texas. They ship all the, or they drive the cattle up here from all over the, the state. St stop them here, load them up on trains, and wherever they need to uh, take the beef to, they take them to big cities. That's why the train tracks. So we are in the stockyards, like the real ones, not the ones that you can see now from the outside. We are inside of the ones from the 1800s. How amazing is this? It's haunted. History of the stockyards in Fort Worth. Here is some information for history of the stockyards. Um, According to Ag America Lending, in 1876, the railroads arrived in Fort Worth, creating a shipping point for livestock that, prior to, would have to be taken by cattle drives much further north to be shipped back east. In 1877, construction of the Union stockyards began, and it was up and running by 1889. So 1889, it was fully functional. Thank you, Google. <laughs> what did I say? Oh my god, it smells so delicious here. <laughs> no, it does not. It does not smell delicious it at all. It smells like Asturias, where we make our um, wonderful cheese in the north. It smells just like it. Right. <laughs> it does not smell good here. Yeah, Texas it does not. The Texas potpourri. <laughs> I like we that one. <laughs> Does it have a Thank motor? You. Does it have two wheels? It's a scooter. It is a motorcycle. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> this is the reason why I like you so much. That's yes. right. I don't know. I think there's a differentiation between moped and motorcycle. Yeah. You know? well, yeah, moped is not a real word. Motorcycle is. That's Moped's true. a real no, word. Group, moped is. Yeah, but right? if you translate it, motorcycle is the word that you translate. You uh, translate moped. There's not a word for it in Spanish, what you're saying. Yes. That's what I said. <laughs> Whatever he said, I said. B B C A. <laughs> <laughs>